Hey guys, Orlando with Sin City Cycling here, and I am here today with another tech show in my kitchen. Uh, if you had seen our last video uh, on the update of the Frankenstein build, you know I was having issues with my cranks. And I thought that it might be the frame flexing, but it turns out that it was the cranks and my own inexperience for not understanding how uh, the Praxis M30 cranks work. So let me explain a little bit. So these are the Praxis M30 cranks, and for some strange reason, Praxis thought it would be a good idea to have two different spindle sizes on each side of the spindle. So drive side of the spindle is 30 millimeters. Non-drive side is 28 millimeters. And uh, I brought my calipers out here so we can see. Well, this is drive side. You can see there, 29.7, non-drive, 27.6. So, actually was not the frame causing a wobble, it was the bottom bracket that I had used uh, to install the Praxis cranks. Now the bottom bracket that I had used was 30 millimeters across, uh, not 30 and 28. So what I had to do was remove that from the frame and by a Praxis, bottom bracket which is here and uh, I don't know if we'll be able to get that to focus here but you can see one side says 30 millimeters and the other side says 28 now that was our problem with the wobble so right now today I'm gonna go ahead and install this in our frame and Hopefully, I could finally take this out and really test this bike hard. So, let's get started. Okay, so this is going to be the first time I've ever installed one of these as well. So, I'm just going to play playing it by ear. So, as we heard before, 28mm uh, is non-drive side. And the Press Fit 30 needs to be inserted with this little shell, which is an adapter, which I wish I knew that they had, because I bet that this adapter would have worked with the Praxis bottom bracket that I already have. Uh, but let's go ahead and get started and uh, I'm assuming we've got to put this up here and press from the other side until it's all the way through. I have no idea how to get that shell out of there once it's in there. doesn't really say to press the shell in by itself. doesn't really say, and the instructions aren't very clear about how it's to be done with that shell. Not at all. Okay, so I'm installing the sleeve that comes with here first, and I don't think that it's going to install because in this frame, man, I don't know what to do here. It's like I need this for the Press Fit 30 application. Now it's stuck in there, right? It's not going to clear that. I don't know what to do. It's not going to clear this thing. I try to press it past it, it's going to break it. Okay, so in order to use this press fit as a press fit, I need to install this sleeve. And I don't know if you can see in there, I can't really. You can see that it's hitting this little thing, this piece that they have in here. I don't know if you can see it. Let's see the piece that it's hitting. Okay, I pretty much got everything installed here. I hope you can see. Getting ready to put the cranks on. I'm um, just going to double check my work. Uh, there is a special tool for tightening this down, but I'm not sure I'm going to need it. 
I have this older bottom bracket tool here that I'm going to go ahead and try and use and hope that it doesn't break it. Okay, I'm ready to put the cranks on here, and they come with this little weaver nut, I believe they call it. Wavy, wavy nut. Alright, there goes nothing. Let's hope this is the last time that we have to put this damn thing together, man, because I'll tell you, I don't I don't wanna have to fucking do it again. Excuse the language. Okay, now that the cranks are installed, I just need to cinch them down, reinstall the cable, and hopefully we'll be good to go. Okay, we got the bottom bracket installed. I just reinstalled the cable so we can go ahead and test it. Man, that feels nice. Definitely seems like that was the issue. Alright, well that was dramatic. I think that may be it, folks. As always, I appreciate you watching. And if you like the kind of things we do here on Sin City Cycling, please consider hitting that like and that subscribe button. If you have any comments about the builds we do or any questions about this bike, feel free to put them down in the comments below. As always, I'm Orlando. This is Sin City Cycling. Peace.